Well, I'll tell you what, those three quarter inch sheets of plywood are a lot heavier than I ever remember them being. <laughs> Not that I've ever had the chance of loading them all up before. I have run across them once or twice in my lifetime. So, once again, parking lot of Home Depot. Me standing out here trying to load these into the truck and I'm grabbing the first one off and I drop it on the tailgate and I go to lift it up and it starts to slide so I catch it a little bit and right away some guy comes running over just coming out of the store buying something. You know, it's super, super awesome the kindness of the people that live here. Very cool. Okay, so purchase the subfloor. I went with seven sheets so it's five sheets wide by an extra two feet. So five sheets and then I've got five spots that have to be the extra two feet. You can't get that on one sheet, so I'm gonna have a little bit left over. It's fine, maybe I'll make a little table or something out of it when I'm done. I'm starting to come up with a plan for uh, cupboards or cabinets in the kitchen too that I can build myself. So hopefully, hopefully that will come to pass. And then I might have to, I'll see when I get home. Um, I might make a quick trip down to Homer tomorrow after work. Because uh, I only have, i got to work Friday this week, I only have Saturday and Sunday off. Um, because there's a guy down there that's got a propane oven slash stove that works. 100% uh, non-electric. Um, and it's a household size stove and that they're tough to get here in Alaska unless you want to pay real big money and, and buy the off-grid stove the off-grid ones uh, but he only wants 100 bucks for it it's not pretty but it works so I might uh, I might jump on that I might shoot them off a, an email and see if I can't go by and get that tomorrow after I get off of work so that'll be about four and a half hours five hours driving down and driving back normally I would do that on Saturday but Saturday, I'm going to be putting some floor in upstairs. Been very cool. It was cash. So seven sheets of plywood, forty-five bucks a sheet, three hundred and thirty-three dollars and change with tax on the door. Got to spit in snow all day today. It's nineteen degrees here in beautiful, sunny, not so much Alaska. <laughs> I'll show you what we got. This is Bridge Access. Uh, that's the name of the road. The two ways to get to Kenai. One is Bridge Access and the other is the Spur Highway. <laughs> Just got home. Got everything unpacked into the cab or into the trailer. Um, and I've only got the tonight and tomorrow night off, so I'm not gonna bother sleeping in the cabin tonight. <laughs> I walked in the trailer. And I was out of propane, and I have a bottle of an empty bottle of propane and a empty gas can in the back of the truck right now that I was going to fill up today, and it was just so windy and nasty. I go, "Nah, I'll be fine. I got that other spare bottle at home." <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, apparently I don't have a spare bottle anymore, so I'm running back to town right now." By the uh, end of this trip, I will have driven like 65, 75 miles <laughs> back and forth, and it's been so windy. I almost turned the phone on to record the trip over to Kenai uh, after work today because it was just snow blowing across the road. It was it was pretty brutal. Temperatures are cool. It's uh, 13 degrees Fahrenheit by the temperature on the truck. And uh, with the wind chill, we're right at about zero. Kenai was like 15 above zero. Um, but with the wind chill there, it was six below. <laughs> and it's like brutally cold in the face. Oh, man. Oh well, that's okay. I'm gonna run it down, get that, uh, get both bottles of propane filled up, and then fill up the gas can as well. That way, I've got generator gas for the weekend. I still, I always keep a full can um, just for uh, emergency use. So like, I always make sure the generator is 100% full, and then I have a full can on top of that uh, at all times. So when I run one of the cans out, because I have two, um, I always like to refill it so that constantly rotating the fuel 
and I and, and I can avoid trips to town. I also need screws, so um, I'm putting the uh, this week I'm putting the plywood down. Starting tomorrow, actually. Well, tomorrow it will be done. Um, I'm putting the plywood down on the loft. So last night after I got off of work um, and I, I swung by uh, the orange store and picked up uh, seven seven sheets of plywood, uh, three quarter inch, and it's four foot by eight foot, and that'll be enough to layer the entire loft in three quarter inch plywood. So uh, after I got home and I got all that put into the cabin, I went ahead and, and grabbed my uh, cordless drill and unscrewed all of the OSB that was sitting up in the loft. So it's all loose up there right now. My plan is tomorrow to dry fit it all in and then screw it down. I could use nails. Um, Ward had suggested go ahead and get some more ring shank nails for that, and and I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna screw it down because while well, the ring shank nails will hold it pretty well, um, screws will hold it forever. I'm not gonna glue it though, uh, and I'm not really worried about too much you know squeak and creak on the floor because uh, it's a loft. So I mean, you know, if anybody's at my house besides me, um, I will know they're up there. So I'll be used, I'll be ready for a noise or anything. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't make any sense to put that much effort into it. Um, I am, though, thinking, uh, and all day long today, about cabinets in the kitchen and how, I, how I'm going to build them myself, and I've got a pretty good idea of what I think will be super awesome when it's done. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So anyway, head back to town. Uh, got to go ahead and, and pick up the screws while I'm there now, too, because I forgot to get those as well. Uh, and this will save me the trip of having to go into town this weekend. Now, I'm pretty sure, uh, I know I do, I have work clothes for, for Monday. Um, so I won't have to do laundry till Monday after work. But, yeah. That's fun. I'll flip the camera around for you and show you how gloomy it is. It has been a gloomy, windy day all day today. I did pick up some chicken for dinner, so that's the other reason why I want to make sure I got extra propane because I, I should be getting pretty close to my one tank that I use for the uh, for the oven uh, in the trailer. Getting low, and I don't want to run out when I need to make coffee or something like that. That would anger me greatly. So, uh, planning on making some Bisquick chicken for dinner. And uh, I got food for breakfast and refrigerator all cleaned out. I got some garbage in the back of the truck, so I'll stop off at the dumps and get a bunch of stuff done today. how exciting this is going to be. <laughs> so I got up on the loft the other day uh, when I got home from work and pulled down or, or unscrewed all of the sheets that are up there. I might have a couple of wayward screws that I'll have to get out. Uh, Todd's going to come over and give me a hand because this three quarter inch plywood's a little heavier than that OSB was. <laughs> oh, I did not sleep in the cabin last night. Uh, I slept in the trailer just because I needed to get some stuff done in there. And with the only two days off, it really didn't seem like it was such a big deal to stay in here. I probably won't stay in here again now until I have the, the staircase up, uh, which is what I'm going to plan on doing as soon as I get this done. So this will give me my roughly final elevation on the loft so that I can take the measurements I need to take for the uh, staircase and get that done. And I plan on picking the lumber up for that this week. Um, and then as soon as the loft is done, or as soon as the staircase is done, uh, then it's all about probably moving in here. I'm going to need to be a little bit cautious up there too because this piece of OSB sitting right here, um, when I was unscrewing all the pieces up there, it kind of slid with my foot, flipped and went straight down. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some of the OSB over on this side to start with and then work my way from uh, work my way from that side over to here. Um, originally, I thought I wanted a full uh, a full piece over here because it's not going to be a full piece, right? It's less than 20 feet inside. Uh, but by the same token, I said, 
the ladder or the stairs are going to come up right there so it, it's not a really a, a 911 a big deal to to have a full piece there because the banister and everything will break that up and the plan i have to face this off on the front will hide all of that detail anyway um so i got the light moved up there i'm going to start moving some osb from the top uh away uh, and i'm not really going to start lifting up that plywood yet it's heavy three quarter inch by four by eight feet um, i'll wait until todd gets here for that uh, just because there's no sense in hurting myself lifting that by myself and that's the main reason why todd's coming over today well a couple of reasons so todd comes over a lot and, and you know i'm not going to deny the fact that the help that i've had from todd from ward from brian have have gone you know miles and miles to get in this thing where it's at right now uh, but I think Todd comes over a lot too, and if you're watching Todd, correct me if I'm wrong, because you're sitting at home, and A, you're bored, and B, if you stay home, you got to do your own projects. <laughs> so uh, there is that part of it. Um, I've got batteries charging up for the camera over on the side. I brought in the extra uh, power brick, um, or one of the extra power bricks I have for the, the screwdriver, or the screw gun here. Um, so that we don't have to stop. I picked up screws yesterday, so I'm good as far as that goes. Uh, and I guess it's probably just time to start this. <laughs> That'll get your attention. It's probably not the safest thing I've ever done in my life. Also, though, it's not the most dangerous. of setting plywood all the way across and then coming back and screwing it all down. I think that's going to change. I think I'm going to screw it down as I set it. Make whatever adjustments I need to make at the end. Because I'm not super comfortable being on floppy OSB. It's the first time I've seen the top of these. Or Joyce in a walk, huh? <laughs>
so the issue is, and sorry if the camera wiggles a bit here, that where this one ends is different than where that one ends. And that's because Sean doesn't know how to build. And he did the same thing here that he did with his wall. So at least I'm consistent. And I should have lined all of these up so that they were all on center and lined up with each other. But I built one side and then I built the other side from the other direction. Typical Sean. so much off of that side because it's upside down now. Got it? Yeah. Tapper. Back to you. About an eighth of an inch is all I gotta come. And then that takes it all the way over to there. Cool. That is done. On to the next project, stairs. 
I do have to, I have this overhanging by a bit, so I'm going to have to trim that out um, just so that I can measure out for the stairs and get those framed in. And that's what I'm working on next. Thanks, Todd. Say hi to your mom. Hi, mom. <laughs>